Today's adventure, we're coming to you live, I like that, live, from Versailles State Park here in Versailles, Indiana. We're going to do a trail called Trail 1. It's also known as the uh, Sinkhole Trail, and it's also known as the Timber... Old Orchard Trail. Old Orchard Trail. And let's just have fun. <laughs> Yeah, it's very muddy on the trail today, so we've got to watch our footing. It's so beautiful out here, though. Mm -hmm. We've been wanting to hit this trail out here in Versailles for a while now. We hit all the other trails, but we never physically hit this one. All right, guys, I'm going to do some GoPro shots, get some trail shots, do some vlogging here and there, and let's just have an adventure, okay? Let's have ourselves an adventure. And with the mud on the ground, slippery, the beauty, yeah, we're gonna have ourselves a good adventure. What do you think, Ange? What? Yes, with the rocks. Oh yeah, the rocks are beautiful. We get them too. All right, we see you guys on the trail. Okay, we're coming up to our first road crossing. We'll be crossing this road twice. Yeah, we had to wait there for a while before we do the trail today because it was raining. Although my GoPro is waterproof, but not the mod. So we sat in the car talking to a friend of ours, Billy, on Facebook. She's from Australia. Yeah, so we're gonna cross over here and let me show you. We crossed the road and it picks up right back over on the other side. The car's coming. And here we go. Yeah. That uh, sounds beautiful up here, don't it? Now you can actually go on another trail that way, but we're going this way. I figure I'd do a thumbnail shot right here. It's just one of the thumbnail shots, maybe. <sighs> it's got done climbing a pretty good hill there. It isn't exactly wimpy, but still. Yeah, my feet are sliding like a son of a gun. 
I picked up a new pair of shoes back about a month ago, made for hiking. They're a little bit different than the boots, and they ain't doing no dang good. I tried to get a pair of shoes like my wife has, but Walmart was sold out. Mine are perfect. All right, let's enjoy this adventure. Listen, here, let's stop for a minute. Every now and then you hear the crows. Or ravens, I'm not sure what it is. It sounds so beautiful through here. Oh my God, why ain't everybody out here doing this? All right guys, so we're gonna carry on. As far as some of the sinkholes we're seeing them now, it is to believe the sinkholes are caused because there's caves all through here. Although you're not gonna find them with the naked eye, obviously. Now I want to tell you a little bit of history of Rissell State Park, but you know what? We're gonna leave that for the next video. The next adventure we have on hiking. My next adventure probably would be fishing. But yeah, don't quote me, but the state of Indiana was Union Ram, basically. But the state of Versailles was the only place that was under Confederacy control. And many years ago, which I'm going to do a documentary on this, but many years ago, I think it's Morgan's Raiders came through here. Don't quote me. Actually, do quote me. I'm going to do a documentary on that probably this summer, but wow. This is so beautiful through here. Grant you, it's not like Clifty Falls, but I didn't really care too much for Clifty Falls. The only thing I liked about Clifty Falls was the rock formations. You know, I don't know. I love it here because it's for sales. For sales, State Park is a home away from home for us, you know? All right, guys, let's convince you on. Sinkhole. That right there is definitely a sinkhole. <laughs> oh wow look at this though all right let's get on down the trail i got a feeling we're going to be going across a bridge crossing down here down yonder a little ways so beautiful through here holy Wow, look at the beauty. Totally amazing. Oh, let's follow the trail. Holy, absolutely amazing.
One of the things I noticed about this trail is a lot of trees down. And some of them, they cut them up. These, like recently, they get them off the trail. But you do, or we are in a forest. Holy, whew. I'm not winded. I got a confession to tell y'all. I do these trails, I do these adventures, and oh man, let me show you this first before we go any further. This is kind of, this is neat to me. See these two trees so close together? I think that's neat. I like walking between two trees so close together like this. That is so cool. I mentioned this in my other videos when I used to do a lot of vlogging, which I'm kind of doing that now. I suffer from anxiety. And sometimes out of nowhere, even though I'm in a beautiful place like this, my anxiety climbs. And what, what makes it do that is sometimes I'm out of control. I mean, something was to happen. I am so deep in the forest right now. I don't know if I could ever get any help. But once I start making the loop around and coming back, my anxiety drops dramatically. That's just how I operate. But there's no way in hell I'm not do this because this is what Angie and I live for. Angie's my wife. We live for the adventures. This is what we like to do. You know, our children are all grown. It's time for us now. What do you think, honey? That's me, I'm Angie. You're Angie. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, the thing about this is I'm sweating like a pig, but if I take off my hoodie, I'm gonna freeze because I'm all sweaty now. Kind of cool. And it's starting to get warmed up a little bit. The sun's peeking out here and there, and God, I hope it don't rain. If it starts raining, I'm gonna have to put I'm gonna have to put you guys inside my hoodie, so I'm not gonna ruin this camera. See, like a little creek there. Yeah. Careful, tree roots, not like cookie fall roots, but still. Right here in this spot, we're gonna do a full pan around. It is so beautiful through here. Oh my gosh. It is so beautiful. Look at that behind me. Oh, man. Okay, we're thinking we're on the loop. All in all, this trail's about maybe three miles, maybe a little bit more. It's a good, it's a good piece. So we're gonna, we're thinking we're on the loop. When we come across the bridge, after we cross the road, we know we're almost done then. Just saying. All right, let's continue on. Okay, we come up a part of the trail that reminds me of Clifty Falls. Now, since everything's wet, these rocks are gonna be dangerous, but I'm gonna videotape it on the way down. So, be careful. yeah. This is the only rugged part we've came across on the trail so far. The rest of it's easy, but it's quite beautiful. Dangerous it looks because it's wet, but beautiful. Yeah, it has where you go around it. Oh, interesting. All right, the part we're coming up on now, since we've had so much rain, we're gonna have to walk through some water to stay on the trail. And it can be very slick because the rocks down through here are very slick. 
See, when we was at Clifty Falls, oh, we're getting ready to go up a hill. When we was at Clifty Falls, the rocks were not slick. I gotta wait for my wife to get down here. I wait for Ange so I can try to be careful. But you know what? Let's get some of this footage real quick. It's like this little, nice little baby waterfall coming through here. Look at this. This reminds me when I used to live in Kentucky. I used to go hard, go out and visit my uncle Fred. He had this all. He had these little, uh, these little uh, creeks all over his property. Okay, we're getting ready to play like billy goats and climb up this. Yeah, let's videotape as we do it. Careful, I just slid back there. Okay, we're gonna make sure Ange makes it up. But right here next to me, I think I found a trail marker that's on the ground. So I hope we're on the right trail still. <laughs> uh. That was the only hardest part of the trail so far, was right there. That's it. And honestly, I think anybody can do it. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Okay. I may or may not put music with this, but let's go ahead and show you these shots as we go through here. Although it rained all night last night and two days ago and this morning, this is the only part of the trail that seems to be muddy. The rest of the trail seem to be pretty decent, but we're running some serious mud up through here. I mean, the trail started off with mud, then it got better, but now, holy. But I like it muddy because when it's muddy like this, you can see what animals kind of like trample through here. I like that stuff. There's nothing better than walking through the middle of nowhere. You know, Angie and I use this park, these trails, the fishing. Like, I mean, the fishing up here in Versailles State Park is excellent. I'm not one of these fishermen that won't tell you where my favorite spot is because I will. But we use this park to, ex to escape COVID. 
I mean, you know how stressful, and it still is, you know how stressful COVID is. You know, when we was able to come out in lockdown, we came here. You know, we came here, did the fishing thing. We did some trails. And then when the fishing ended, we didn't stop with the trails, you know? And that's what gave me the idea is making the videos, venture videos, because we do a lot of ventures that we don't even, I don't even air. Uh, now, when we come up to the bridge, that's where I want to get my drink of water at, because I'm thirsty. You thirsty, sweetheart? Where you is? There you is. Uh, plus, my left ankle's hurting. Yeah, that's when we was coming up that last incline. Uh -huh. I slipped. Carry on! You know, I always have the feeling to bring my friends to where I go. Now, if there's any friends I could love to bring here with me, would be our friends from Texas. Scarlett and Vaughn. I would love to bring my friend, uh, Billy, from Australia. I'd like to bring my friend Donna from Vers uh, Versailles. Oh my God, Virginia. But definitely, I'd love to bring Scarlett and FD here. Why did I say Scarlett and FD? Scarlett and Vaughn, sorry. Guys, underneath this hat, I am super hot. When we get to the bridge, I'm probably gonna remove my hat. You're gonna see a lot of steam come from my head. Cause it is steamy hot underneath this hat. Oh God, is it ever? But God, this is so beautiful. Holy. Okay. Be very cautious. Imagine what this will look like in the summertime. Yes. Actually, this is that one tree that he got on there that had the bend in it back last year. We have watched some videos of other people do the trail and there was one done exactly a year ago and this tree was standing up. Yeah, and how I know it was this tree because it has the bend in it. And the guy made a statement, that's what the uh, Native Americans used to do, the Indians, Back in the day, they used to bend the trees to show the way through the forest. And he was like talking about that, not saying that's one of the trees, but it could it looked like one. So that was taken down within the last year. Yeah. But this being filled with sinkholes all through here, underground caves and stuff, I'm surprised a lot of this trees and Everything's still standing, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. All right, carry on. I don't know if the bridge is close or not. I'm thinking, I don't even know how far we are. We've been on here for about an hour and 15 minutes. 
But you gotta remember, we stopped to take a lot of pictures and video shots. All right, let's carry on. Okay, I only got 23% battery life right now. So we're gonna do a few more shots. Now I do have another battery on board in my backpack. Well, I'm saving that for a whole other video. Yeah, it makes, it surprises me that I lost so much battery juice that fast. Oh, it looks like we're coming up to a, oh hell, I'm not sure what kind of road this is. Here, I'll show you. Some type of service road. Huh. Or could this be a horse trail? This could very well be a horse trail. I don't know. Okay, let's set, turn the GoPro off and save on some battery juice. Okay, we're on a split off and there's no trail marker. So we can either go right. Let me go this way and show you behind me. We'll go right up that trail. Or we could go downhill and go down this trail. Not sure which one to go. And she's got an app that's for all the state parks and all the hike. We're going to see if it has a map and tells us which way to go. Yeah. All right. Remember, I think it was my last vlog entry. I said, we was going to go left. We should have went right. We went way, way, way out of our way. Oh boy, now we're backtracking to that spot. This time we're gonna go right. At least we're thinking, cause back there was a dead end. I have no idea what was up back there. So, hell, we're not exactly lost, but then again, I'm not exactly sure when we're gonna get done with this trail now. Cause it looked like they was doing some kind of work back there and I don't know. So we're gonna go the other way and see which way it goes. Okay, after a lot of trial and error, we're finally on the right path and holy, I say all in all, what, we went about a mile and a half out of our way? Yeah. yeah. So we're up on top of the hill. I won't call it a mountain. And yeah. So guys, I am running low on battery juice, so my next vlog entry will be when we get to the bottom. The only thing I can say right now is, my only complaint about this trail is they need to have better markers. Then again, maybe they will fix these markers come spring. Well, we finally came up to the second bridge we was hoping to come to. And the next bridge will be right across when we get across the road, but yeah. I'm happy to see this bridge. Because now I know I'm on the right trail. <laughs> Let's get some good footage off this bridge. Woo! My feet's loaded with mud. Yeah. So we're going to climb this incline. This long, steep incline. And I guess we'll be going back down. That's been the story of Versailles State Park. At least this trail. We climb up, we go down. We climb up, we go down. So guys, my next, my next vlog entry will be done at the car. I give my closing thoughts there. All right, I know I wouldn't say, I know I said I wouldn't videotape except from the car, but holy, oh, this is nice right here. I gotta show you guys this. This is an overlook. And here, I just let you all see. We gotta see if we can see this from the road when we're driving down. Nice little bench to sit on. Okay, this time I will record when we get to the car. Okay, but holy, that's a good piece down. But that's the road. That's the road we're gonna be crossing soon. All right, I just bit the dust. I know I said I wasn't going to do any video until I got home, but look at this, or until I got the car. It was coming down that right there and I bit the dust. I didn't get hurt, but my whole butt side's full of mud. All right, guys, I ain't got much battery juice, but of the whole trail, the one I'm having trouble with the most is this little incline. Look, first of all, look at my shoes, <laughs> and I'm having trouble climbing this. See, I can't climb this. 
Uh, let's go. Well, I don't know. Let's try this way. If I grab a, I'm gonna have to get up and have get. Whoa. Oh, oh, got it. I got it. <laughs> okay, here. Give me your hand. <laughs> yeah. Up. Okay. Oh my god. Made it. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, all in all, it wasn't a bad trail. It could be better marked. And if you ever go to go on this trail, don't go right after it rains. We slid the whole way. For some reason, my GoPro battery wanted to die halfway through. And it did die after my last vlog entry. But all in all, it wasn't a bad trail. You know, all in all, it was the adventure that we're seeking, you know? All right, guys, thanks, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Because we have some really good adventures coming up. So until next time, I'm going to switch out batteries and memory cards and on to our next adventure. We'll see you then. Come on. Let's get out of here.